I would like to describe for you the concept of compliance and how it applies to the left ventricle of the heart. This concept is important because it explains changes that occur in ventricular filling pressures and volumes in different types of heart failure. To understand compliance, let's begin with an uninflated rubber balloon. When the balloon is empty and, and the stem is open to the atmosphere, the pressure inside is zero. If we blow air into the balloon, the volume of the balloon will expand. Because the walls of the balloon are stretched when the volume is increased, this generates a pressure inside the balloon that will be directly related to the expanded volume. Therefore, pressure increases as volume increases. If we were to plot this change in volume and pressure on a graph, we would see that the unfilled balloon will have an internal pressure of zero at some residual unstressed volume. When the balloon is inflated, both the volume and pressure inside the balloon increase. The ratio of the change in volume to the change in pressure, which is the slope of the line, represents the compliance of the balloon. This compliance is determined by the elastic properties of the wall of the balloon. Let's now see what happens when compliance is altered. Again, here is the compliance of the balloon. Remembering that compliance is the slope of the volume pressure relationship, it should be evident that if the rubber wall of the balloon were very thin and easily stretched, then pressure inside the balloon would not increase as much when the balloon is inflated. This change in slope reflects an increase in the compliance of the balloon. In contrast, if the rubber wall were very thick and therefore resisted stretching, then the balloon pressure would change much more for a given increase in volume because the, the compliance of the balloon would be reduced. If we now think of this balloon as representing the left ventricle of the heart, then it should be apparent that the compliance of the ventricular wall will determine how ventricular pressure and volume change as the ventricle fills with blood. If the ventricle is highly compliant like a thin walled balloon, then a given filling pressure will result in a much larger increase in the filled volume. In contrast, if the ventricle is stiff like a thick-walled balloon and therefore has a low compliance, then a given filling pressure will result in less filling of the ventricle. Or another way to think of this is that higher filling pressures are necessary to achieve normal filling in a less compliant ventricle. Here's what you need to remember. High ventricular compliance is associated with large ventricular volumes. Low ventricular compliance is associated with high ventricular pressures and impaired filling. 